This is Bama Rukmani, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, Sahinara Janayamal College, Swarasi. In this video lesson, I am going to present about implementation of Q using linked list. Q is a linear data structure where insertion and deletion are taken place at two different ends. The insertion will be taken place at the rear end and deletion will be taken place at the front end. We can implement Q by using array or by using linked list. If I am using the Q by using array, I, I have to know the size of the Q well in advance. In real time applications, we cannot predict the size of the Q well in advance. So in such cases, I can use linked list to implement the Q. So each in Q, each node has the two parts. One is the data part and another one is the link part. Initially, the front and rear pointers are set to null, which means initially the Q has no elements in it. So in this case, here I have initialized both the front pointer and rear pointer as null. Right. So to insert an element, I have defined a function insert Q. So here I have created a node based upon the structure that we have defined. The data type is struct node and the node pointer is declared as new node. So every time to insert a new node, I have to allocate memory for the new node. For memory allocation, we can use the malloc function to allocate memory at runtime. So the malloc function will return the void pointer. That void pointer is called as a generic pointer. That pointer has to be converted into the node pointer by explicit type conversion. Then the value that I want to insert has to be assigned to the node. Afterwards, the next part is set to null. Since it is the last element in the queue. So its value next part will be set to null. And I am checking if rear is equal to null, then the this is the one and only node in the list. So the both front and rear are set to this newly created node. If rear is not equal to null, that is the else part, this, uh, the list has some other elements. So the last element previously in the queue next link has to be set to this new node and make this new node as the rear node. So here is an example. Initially both front and rear are equal to null. Let us assume that means the queue is empty. I call the function insert queue with the value of 10. So the insert queue first create a memory, node for, memory for the newly created node and assign the value 10 in the data part and set the link part as null. This is the last one. And since the front and rear are equal to null, both front and rear are set to this newly created node that is the new node. This is the one and only node in the list. Now let us try to insert the one more node with the value of 20. So here insert queue of 20 it creates a new node and assign the value 20 in that particular node and set the null value for the link part. Afterwards, the previously existing list is, has only one element that is 10. So this is the last node in that list in the previous case. So this next part has to set to the newly created node and make this newly created node as the rear node. That is the last node in the list. So like that we can insert any number of node. So the insertion will be taken place at the rear end. That is the last node in the list. Then let us discuss about the deleting an element from the queue. So to delete an element, that is removing an element from the queue. In queue, deletion operation will be taken place in the front end. So before deletion, we have to check whether the queue is empty or not. If the front value is equal to null, then the queue is empty. So here it prints the value, the queue is empty. If the front is not equal to null, then we are checking whether the first node, that is the temporary, we make a temporary pointer for the first node in the list. 
we are checking its next part is not equal to null its next part is not equal to null means the list has more than one element in that case after removing the node we have to set the link part of the uh, first node as the friend so for that so we are taking the temp equal to temp next that is the first node next pointer and we are printing the data at the friend location then we are freeing the front part and making the next node in the list as the first node in the list. Suppose the list has one and only node, the data has to be displayed and the node is freed from the memory and both front and rear are set to null that is the list has no other element. So example for deletion, suppose friend is equal to null then the queue is empty. Suppose let, let us take the case, the list has the elements 10, 20, 30 and 40. I am asking to delete an element from the queue. So here the node at the friend pointer point will be removed from the list. So after removing this node, the friend will point to the next node in the list. So after deletion, the list has 20, 30, 40 and 20 is the friend node and 40 is the rear node. Thank you.